Welcome to DevKit Weekly, where this week we're powering things up with the Bridge Switch RDK 852 kit from Power Integrations. The RDK 852 is a reference design for a 200 watt three phase inverter that delivers a continuous current of 0.62 amps per phase to brushless DC motors. Therefore, the kit comes with field-oriented control capabilities while also being incredibly efficient. How efficient, you ask? So efficient that you wish you got this score on your final exams in college. Overall, the inverter delivers 97% efficiency as a high-voltage motor driver. How does it achieve all that impressive efficiency, you ask? Well, that all starts with three onboard power integrations bridge switch BRD1263C devices. The bridge switch portfolio is a line of integrated half bridge drivers for brushless DC motors. And the one we're focusing on today, the BRD1263C, exhibits all the features the family has to offer at 99.2% efficiency. This is so efficient, in fact, that it eliminates the need for an external heatsink, which you'll also note isn't present on the RDK852 kit either. The BRD1263Cs in these NSOP 24C packages are built on 600 volt N channel power FredFET transistors, which allow for ultra soft switching. And if you haven't heard of a FredFET before, I'll spell it out for you. Fast recovery epitaxial diode field effect transistor. So yeah, it's ultra fast too. These drivers are very tightly integrated, self-biasing high side and low side circuits. So in addition to not needing an external heatsink, they also allow you to do away with auxiliary power supplies, though you can use an external bias if you need to, and there's an aux supply on the RDK852. The BRD1263C drivers include a self-configuring system level monitoring input, and because monitoring on its own isn't enough, obviously, it also contains mechanisms like simultaneous conduction lockout protection and internal dual level thermal overload protection. In addition, adaptive dead time is also supported to help guard against shoot through currents during switching operations. Now, in terms of communication, the BRD1263Cs use a single wire interface to report status updates and faults to a host controller. The BRD1263C eliminates the need for a lot of parts, such as external sensors or amplifiers and the ones we mentioned earlier. But one IC you can benefit from is a converter IC like the LinkSwitch TN2 LNK3204D, which is also on board the RDK852. The LNK3204D is a buck, buck boost, and flyback converter that, in this case, is configured in a high voltage buck conversion topology. It's designed around 725 volt MOSFETs and runs on just 66 kilohertz at accurate current limits. This low operation has several benefits, including that it enables reductions in the size and cost of magnetic and output capacitors, and it means that you can work with off-the-shelf inductors, which are also usually low cost. Like its sister part from Power Integrations, the LNK3204D packages a lot into one part, including an oscillator, self-biasing, input and output overvoltage protection circuitry, and reliability features like frequency jittering, hysteretic over temperature protection, and so on. If you put all that together with another linear regulator, a current sense amplifier, and that aux power supply circuit I mentioned before, what do you get? Well. You get a 340 volt DC input, 200 watt three phase inverter that is the RDK852. The RDK852 high voltage inverter reference design accepts 270 to 365 volt inputs and turns those into that continuous 0.62 amp current mentioned previously that you use to drive the BLDC motors. The inverter supports motor speeds of up to 5,000 RPM, which is where that field oriented control comes in. For variable speed drives, the kit generates 10 kilohertz PWM carrier frequencies for modulating that current, but those frequencies are also configurable up to a recommended max of 20 kilohertz, which you can do by adjusting resistor value. So now that we've covered all that, we get to reap the benefits of the RDK852 reference kit, like seeing how the aforementioned components perform under load. It's really great for analyzing things like startup power sequencing, steady state phase voltages and currents, thermal characteristics, power consumption, and of course, efficiency in addition to a host of other parameters. If you check out the user manual, you can even find tests against abnormal motor operation, 
and overloads on single and three phase motors. And there are even tips there on how you should set up your test bench to improve the accuracy of your measurements. You know, it's really easy to take motor technology for granted because it's literally everywhere around us and we don't even know it. But it's really cool. And they're even cooler when you consider all the sophisticated power electronics behind it. And they're even cooler when you can tinker around with that tech yourself, like you can with the RDK852 from Power Integrations. And the way you can do that is by picking up an RDK852 of your own from distributors like DigiKey, which will set you back $93.75. But you better hurry, because as we speak, there are only five in stock, and given everything going on in the world of electronic parts today, who knows when one might be available once they sell out. But I can tell you when one will be available, and that's right now. If you enter this week's raffle, you could be opening up your mailbox to this RDK852. And no, there won't be a 10 to 12 week lead time. And of course, best of all, it's free. All you have to do to enter the raffle is click the link on your screen. And that link is also in the description below. So that brings us to the end of this week's Dev Kit Weekly. But if you're building a consumer appliance or power tools or robotics or really anything that requires precision motor control, make sure that you start with the right foundation. And you can do that by going over to power.com and looking at all of the power subsystem components that they have there. Anyway, like I said, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next Step Kit Weekly.